Hello everyone. In today's video I am going to test the A640V2 graphic drawing tablet from Parblo, which Parblo kindly provided for this review. Now I will start with the unboxing. The first thing you will find when you open the package is a warranty card. Then a user guide, which shows with images some of the functions and configuration modes of the tablet. Here we have the tablet A640V2, I will check it later. This is the quick start guide. The package also includes 6 spare tips and a tip extractor. Two OTG adapters are included for using with Android devices. The first one is a Type-C OTG adapter, and the other is a micro USB OTG adapter. This is the USB-C to USB cable for powering the tablet. This is the P05 battery free pen. It has two customizable buttons, 8192 pressure levels, and a report rate of 260 RPs. Now I'll check the A640V2 tablet. This model features a 6x4 inch work area, Type C connection, 4 express keys, and a reading height of 10 millimeters. To be able to use the tablet properly, I went to Parblo website and downloaded the tablet driver. Now that I installed the driver I opened the tablet app to customize the pen pressure and buttons, as well as the four express keys and the workspace settings. Before I started drawing I did a test of the pen settings and they seemed fine to me. Now I am going to talk about my experience using this tablet. I have been using the A640V2 drawing tablet for several days. When I started using this tablet to draw, I noticed that the express keys needed to be pressed twice to work properly, but after days of constant use, the express keys started responding to the first click. So I can't say clearly what the problem was or how to fix it. As for the battery-free pen, I'm kinda impressed by how good it works. I found it to be very precise. Brush strokes are generated with the smoothness, speed and precision that I really need for digitizing my drawings. The tablet mapping is also really good. Somehow I worked more comfortably with this small tablet than with bigger tablets I have used in the past. You can use two modes to scroll with this tablet, absolute and relative. I personally found absolute mode to be the best mode to use, relative mode is imprecise and can be annoying. I didn't took me long to get used to using this drawing tablet. Also I noted that my hand-eye coordination was seamless, this made my drawing experience something I really enjoyed. As far as app compatibility goes, I found that many apps are compatible. So far on PC I have used applications like Clip Studio Paint, Metabang Paint and ZBrush. On Android all apps seem to be compatible. Also, I did not encounter any bugs or lag issues while using any app. Now I want to talk about the negative side of this tablet. After days of use, I only found something that I did not like. What I didn't like it was the fact that the working area surface is not scratch resistant. With a little use the scratches became quite noticeable. Fortunately, scratches are not felt or affect the operation of the pen. And since I really enjoyed using this tablet, I think it's a problem that I can let go.
To end this video, I just want to say that I enjoyed my time using the Parblo A640 V2 drawing tablet. I think it's an amazing tablet. I have enjoyed using it so much that it has become my main device for digital drawing. Based on my experience, the Parblo A640 V2 drawing tablet is perfect for beginners, and I think advanced users could also take advantage of this little tablet, with everything said above. My score for the Parblo A640 V2 graphics tablet is 9 out of 10. That's all for today's video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.